Welcome back YouTube and Madden fans, this is Mad Money Shot, bringing you another Madden 19 gameplay video. Today we got a patch uh, that came out on the 18th, and this is going to be my first post-patch gameplay. It's the first game that I played, and to be honest with you, I noticed some things that might have, you know, made the game slightly worse, or, you know, slightly maybe more buggy, because of some of the things that they tried to address. I'm not entirely sure um, if that's the case or not, but I'm going to go over some of the patch notes and I'm going to go over with you uh, some of the things that, like I said, that I notice um, that definitely, uh, like I said, seem more frequent based off of some of the things that they, they tried to adjust. Now, early on, um, I'm showing you, you know, some things that I'm doing on offense. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mess with the uh, coaching adjustments because some of the things that they said um, in their patch notes in this update, and I think the last update, they were kind of tuning the, uh, the frequency of broken tackles when it comes to strip ball mechanics. Um, I think that that was in this patch and last patch. So they basically, if you're trying to strip the ball, you're going to break more tackles. Or if you have your, uh, I think they also had a face mask in the last patch. Like you'll get more face mask if you set your defensive adjustment too, um, too aggressive when it comes to uh, stripping the ball. So those are things that I'm going to put my both offense and defense uh, on aggressive settings to try to see if that's the case. And to be honest with you, with the uh, strip ball mechanic being set to aggressive in this game, I don't notice um, anything uh, as far as missed tackles. I really don't. I don't feel like uh, it does. It has that effect like they want it to. And I know that they state it's typically from behind, and I don't necessarily have a lot of animations to support or deny that in this video, but realistically, I think the overall idea to the aggressive setting of strip balls and stuff like that is supposed to be missed tackles. And you'll notice throughout this game that I really don't have any of that, so I don't, I don't see any deterrent, really, um, to just running strip tack or running your aggressive settings on defense pretty much the entire game. There's nothing really in the negative, with the exception of pass rush, you can jump off sides. I don't really notice anything else. So here we go, we're trying to float that ball up and away from the coverage. Uh, we're 0 for 3 right there. This game, I do not have a lot of success passing, which is not typical for me. I really don't think it has anything to do with the patch though. I think I just might have been having a bad game, because realistically, there's not a lot of tuning as far as this game, as far as this patch is concerned, when it comes to gameplay. And that's one of the things, I'm actually kind of happy that they didn't really um, do that too much. As you're going to see, I mean, my opponent here, he definitely runs a pretty diverse offense, but realistically, it doesn't help him out because he runs a lot of really stupid plays. Uh, but I'm going to go over some of the patch notes because, like I said, that's important. Uh, I think the biggest patch is probably for regs. Uh, but people that play regs, I think one of the biggest changes is now um, if a player's injured in real life, you can put him in the game, which I think is something that they were kind of taking away from people that don't play mutt. Like it, it was, it was almost like if you could, you, you never lose players in mutt. So I almost feel like that was another attempt to try to get you to play mutt. If you want to use your favorite player online, you had to play mutt to do it. You know what I mean? So I, or you had to play in a CFM or something like that, I guess. But realistically, I'm glad they took that away. I never thought that was really fair for people that bought the game. Uh, and then the other really big one. Uh, as far as gameplay is concerned, is the player speed parity scale, which they changed. Now, I got to be honest with you. I did not really notice anything in this to support that because basically I have pretty fast corners. So I'm not 100% sure if that had anything to do with it. But you're going to see this guy has Tyreek Hill, which is like I think a 92 speed you know, receiver. So realistically, he, I should notice that because his players, he has a faster player. He's going to try to throw to Tyreek Hill a couple of times here in this game. But I didn't notice him burning any of my... I don't want to say slower corners because I think my slowest starting cornerback is like an 87. Um, I got Patrick Peterson, who's I think like an 88. I'm not really sure what his speed is, to be honest with you. And I have Deion Sanders, who's a 91. Uh, not speed-wise, but his overall is a 91. So I don't know what their speeds are. But based off of what they're saying here, it shouldn't really matter. There, Tyreek Hill, since I'm running a straight-up man coverage, should probably burn any one of those guys deep. Um, and I just didn't really notice that. He beats me once or twice, but it's like by a slim margin. Like at no point... Is Tyreek Hill just burning me down the field? Um, I, I have him lined up here. You'll see later in the gameplay. I have him lined up like man to man with Patrick Peterson once, um, and it just doesn't really. It just doesn't happen like they're trying to make it sound like it will. But they also go on to say that it's basically based on um, if a player's running in the open field that it you know if they have a five point speed advantage, it will feel like a ten point speed advantage. So basically, maybe maybe I'm not noticing that because that's not really the scenario. So if he's busting one you know, past my defense with Tyreek Hill. Now the idea is he's typically going to keep going and I won't be able to catch him from behind unless I have a guy that's within like a, a few points 
of speed. And this guy never had a play like that. So it's hard for me really to say if that's accurate or not. But I think that that should translate. If that's what they're going to do, and they're going to try to increase the difference in speeds, then it should be the same way with the passing plays, but it's really not. So like right here, I mean, that's the, probably the best scenario or the only time that he really had um, that advantage. And I still almost caught him with a linebacker. I mean, that was really a mistake on my part. Not a linebacker, I'm sorry, Landon Collins, who's like an 85 speed. So that was, that was a busted coverage on my part. I was trying to trick him with a cover two, and he totally saw it. Uh, but either way, it was not, um, you know, I didn't, I think I probably could have caught him, but it was, it was too short of a play and too short of a distance for me to cover to really verify that. So either way, keep going over the past notes. He's on offense again because I just threw a pick, uh, but not for long though, because I, I, you know, I, I figure this guy out pretty quick. The way this guy's playing, people get on me about my cheesy style and gameplay. So this is what this dude's doing is pretty cheesy. I'm down seven, nothing. It's not going to be like that forever. But realistically, what he's trying to do is run a cheesy offense. It's just there's always an end to that. And then I'm going to end it right here. Gotcha, bitch. So the second I pick this guy off, the cheesiness stops. I mean, once, once you pick six a guy trying to throw to the running back, it changes his entire game plan. It, it, you're inside of his head at that point, And it's going to pretty much change the way this guy plays the rest of the game. So like I said, he's trying to run something that's sim somewhat cheesy, but there's an end to it. There's always an end to it. You have to force people to change what they're doing. I'm running. I pretty much figured out that he's only throwing to his running backs. And and that he doesn't know how to beat this man blitz. He doesn't know how to beat man coverage. Slants would beat this pretty easily, but he's not really adjusting to it. So what? this brings me to my next point, by the way. That was a fumble. And I know that based off the fact that the coaching adjustment comes up after the fact saying strip ball mechanic, but the play just stops. And this is something that they've they've addressed in this patch, and I think the last patch, where they're basically trying to trying to fix these little bugs where they where basically they don't understand like the 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 the, the game doesn't actually understand when the play when the ball is live. It's been an issue since the game started. Fumbles happen and the game the play just stops. Uh, they tried to address it in this patch as well, uh, like saying that um, it was something to do with where a receiver would catch a touchdown or get knocked out, but they would get the touchdown anyway. That's that's a common issue, and it happened right there. Where basically they don't understand, like they don't follow what happens with the ball. Like the game doesn't really understand that, and it's it happens twice in this game actually. So it's like maybe that i don't know like when maybe when it comes to developing a game when you patch one thing it kind of has like a reverse effect on another thing so i don't know if that's going to be common but like i said that's happened quite a bit since the game's release where they just don't understand uh what's going on with the ball i see in the notes they also fixed a lot of uh rare issues that uh, i've never seen which would just kind of like boggles my mind because there's a lot of issues that i have seen that don't get fixed um, you know, like I said, they fix like rare things. Whenever they say rare, it's like I don't even feel the need to bring it up because I'm willing to bet it hasn't happened to any of us. Uh, but there's some rare issues uh, where the receiver gets stuck running up the field on specific diving catch. On you know, there's there's, there's a bunch of these, and it's just like I've never seen any of these. But the ones that I have seen. You know, like the quarterback fumbling and it, and it just stops the play. Or I've run a certain toss play where the fullback goes the other direction. It cost me a touchdown. In a game recently that I was playing where I was on the two-yard line and I go to do the toss and the fullback runs across the quarterback to the point where um, it hits the ball, creates a fumble, and then, the, then my opponent took the ball. I was like, what the fuck? Like, that's happened a lot since this game started in a lot of different formations. And in another previous patch note, they said that they fixed it. Well, obviously they didn't. And that's basically the point that I'm, I'm saying. A lot of the patch notes, um, it just seems like, uh, like you know, like you know, they're just saying that they're fixing some of these things, but realistically, they just haven't worked it out entirely. I'm not saying that they don't think that they did. I'm saying that it manifests itself in other ways. That basically, uh, they might fix it in one formation, but then it basically happens in another formation. You know what I mean? And that's a lot of the things about this game. So. Um, you know, like I said, I'm not trying to say they're lying. I'm, I'm sure they're trying their best, but realistically, they're not necessarily solving the issue. And if they haven't 100% solved the issue, then maybe they shouldn't say that they solved the issue in the patch notes. Now, they did say that they fixed some logic with one of the zones. They keep trying to fix the uh, the quarters and the, and the cover fours because they're really kind of broken. And I'm not sure if this did it because they keep saying that they fixed it, but at least in my thought process. Uh, but they added logic for the linebackers in the quarter flat. Who knows if the, if the four... Um, the cover four will ever get fixed in the, in the cover four match because they're pretty bad, <laughs> but but we'll see. Um, another thing that they did uh, do that this might be like an undercover way that they're trying to fix um, some of the uh, some of the uh, blitzes out of like the three through five and stuff like that, uh, the nickel defenses and the dollar defenses. They said that they updated uh, run block targeting logic. 
to account for some of the defensive looks using nickel dime dollar alignments. I, I don't know um, if they're really if that's really geared towards those blitzes or not, but it wouldn't surprise me because realistically everybody's running that three through five blitz, or at least that's what they say they are. I don't run it. You know, I mean, you can tell by my gameplay here. I pretty much just I, I'll, I run my scheme out of the out of the three two six or the double A guy pretty much the entire game. Um, so you know, I, I can't say that I noticed that too much, but I wouldn't be surprised if somebody puts out a video saying that they might have patched that a little bit. But who knows? It's not in the patch notes specifically. Um, other than that, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, commenting on this gameplay a little bit because it's almost done here. As you can see, the guy I'm playing is pretty much playing like an idiot. Um, just commenting on that based off of a previous video that I did recently that a lot of people saw. Um, I, I haven't completed a pass this entire game. I'm basically just running the ball nonstop now. Uh, because for whatever reason, and I'm not, I felt like I wasn't getting a lot of catch animations. Like I, I had a couple opportunities where I should have got picks that I never got um, from defensive linemen. I think at one point it was like Von Miller. Or, you know, they're not really defensive linemen. They're more outside linebackers. But at some point, I feel like this game still penalized me in certain ways because the game knows that my opponent really stinks. So I'm not trying to beat a dead horse, but I do feel like they still have some sort of keep it close mechanic in the game, or they attempt to, even though this game isn't close, based off the fact that they know uh, prior to the game that I'm probably going to blow this guy out, based off of recent history. I mean, this guy probably doesn't win a ton of games, and I don't really feel like that's fair to me that they give this guy certain breaks based off the fact that he's playing like an idiot. I mean, he went for it, he ran that play on like a 4th and like 11. Like, what are you running a run play on like a 4th and 11? Not to mention, why are you even going for it on all these 4th downs from your own like 20? the entire game here in a fourth and 19 he actually gets something uh going to tyreek hill which like i said they should fix that if they're gonna fix the speed you know the the speed whatever they call it where where they're you know faster players are, are, are accentuated more it should happen there like tyreek hill should have probably burnt my dude up the field instead of getting a close catch which i probably could have got lucky and knocked the ball out so that's something i would like to see them fix that's the game that that, that pretty much ends it so to recap, I really didn't notice a ton of gameplay changes. I know a lot of people in my comment sections like freak out whenever a patch comes for no reason. They think that like the defense is different or the offense is different. I know my passing game didn't really work out, but a lot of that was on me. And a couple of them, maybe, um, you know, the game was trying to, to mess me over. Like I said, the, 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 the safe catch mechanic was originally an issue. They said they patched it. And then in this game, I had two safe catches that never happened. So, like I said, a lot of these notes that they put out, I don't feel like necessarily changed anything. And they say that it did, but um, a lot of this game still feels the same as it did day one. And this particular game felt a little buggy, to be honest with you. So, that's it. If you guys want to see more patch update videos, gameplay videos, let me know in the comments section. Hit the like button and I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below.